Hey, welcome to James' Repair Prayer Shop. And I assume that if you're watching this video, uh, for the most part, that you are having some steering pro uh, power steering problems with your 2010-2011 Cadillac SRX with a 2.8 liter engine. So, I'm not going to make you watch the whole video to give you what you need to know about the part to order for that engine because this is what we ran into when we were going to replace ours. Which part do I buy? You can't find any information about the 2.8 liter engine power steering pump. It's a whole big mystery out there. Well, I'm going to tell you up front and save you from watching the video is that if you order the pump for, and this is the pump off our car, the 2.8, it's the exact same pump for the three liter. And I believe it fits the 3.6 liter as well. So there is a difference in the installation of it and the, re and the switching out of the pumps. And it's nothing to do with the pump. So if you need to order part and you're at that point where you're pulling your hair out uh, and no not knowing which part to order, well, we were the same, and my wife and I. And you know, you have a car down, there's oil leaking everywhere. What happened to this one was that it started leaking around the shaft. Immaterial at this point in time, go ahead and order one for the three liter. So that's what we did. We took the risk and went and did it. So I want to share that with you guys. There is a difference though. So if you want to watch the video and on the installation and everything, that's fine. But I am going to tell you the difference. The difference is in the pulley. The pulley on the three liter has a provision to pull it with a traditional puller and installer kit. These do not. So these, there's no seat, there's no reference really other than your old power steering pump and where to put this. So there's a little, you can see the staining and the shiny part is where the pulley was sitting. So not having that puller groove like that will receive these parts, these half moons and the collar for your traditional one, I had to use a, uh, I use a two jaw puller because that's what I had, a uh, six inch two jaw puller. I think it's good for five ton. And it, believe me, it took a lot. So anything smaller than, uh, than that, I would say, eh, you're gonna be touch and go. You'll need this uh, installation kit as well because the, tr the way to install it is the traditional way. But while, when you're installing this pump, the pulley back on this pump, you have to make reference take reference, sorry, with a micrometer or whatever you can measure it with, where that pulley sits from the top of the shaft, or even better yet, measure out from the body, from a bolt like this, out to one of the holes in the pulley. And then make sure you do the exact same thing when you're putting it back on. And you'll use the traditional installer to put it back on. That's not a big deal. But that is the difference between the two. But the pump is exactly the same. So I just wanted you guys to know that so you didn't sit here watching minutes and hours of video trying to figure it all out. Go ahead, order your pump, and then you can deal with the installation later. Another thing that I found handy were these uh, hose, hose pliers. They work really well. And another thing which I broke that I would recommend getting before you start the job is a set of hose clamp pliers and they'll, they're, they're made to clamp, grab those uh, spring, spring clamps because that you're in a tight spot there now and it's going to be hard to work with. Anyway, let's get into the video um, and if you don't want to watch the video and you just want to order your part and go with it from now, that's great. But that's where I'm at with it. So 2011, 20, 2010, 2011 Cadillac SRX with a 2.8 liter engine takes the same pump as the 3 liter engine which are readily available. They're easy to get. I pay, we paid $125 for this, for the replacement for this, and it's an AC Delco one. So there you go. Uh, let's go into the video, and I hope it helps someone out. All right, first thing, we need to get rid of this wheel. Makes it a little easier to work in there, so jack it up. Use a jack stand, support the car, don't work under unsupported vehicles. It's a good way to get hurt. Get a light. And uh, once you get there, so far, I don't think I need to take any of the plastic off because the power steering pump is right up in under there and there's the pulley for it. So you can see where it's leaking oil out 
on this one. I've checked it before, it's leaking out on the, around the shaft. Uh, so I have to go underneath, I have to pull the uh, belt off and also uh, check to see what wrenches I need. All right, next year I want to pull the belt off. So to take the belt off, I'm using a, ha a power bar. You can get one of those uh, serpentine belt tools if you like, uh, This, but a half inch power bar will work. It's not a lot of tension. So you put it in, push it forward and reach, reach around and take the belt off the power steering pulley. So now that you're uh, all up underneath here, there's the power steering pump right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that line. I'm not, I'm just going to crack it a little bit. I'm not going to take the line off because it'll start dripping oil in my face. So I just want to crack it so I can get it off easily once I pull the pump off. So now I need to get a, a wrench for those two bolts. This one uh, you get from in through the pulley hole. This one I should be able to get from the backside. They look to be like a 13 millimeter. And then there's also the uh, suction line right up in there. And I'm gonna leave that hooked up now. That's just with the clamp. And once I drop this down a little bit, I can take that line off. So I got the pump out. Now, let's see up in there, you can see those two holes, that horseshoe. So the upper bolt was really difficult to get out because GM put a, a wire harness right in front of it. So I had to have a real short set up i don't have it right here but i'll show you when i get back off the ground i was able to get the hose off but yeah a little tip take the clip off when you take the high pressure hose off take the clip off the low pressure as well it made it a lot easier to if i'd done it that way when i took the pump out i had to go back if you can see it or not i had to go in behind this uh frame member and bring it out turn it a couple times and bring it out uh, toward the transaxle and by the exhaust pipe and it came out through there. You might get it out through the front, but that's the way it fell and I just worked it out that way. It's very tight. So now I have to switch the, uh, I have to switch the pulleys over. Okay, now we've got the pump out, uh, comparing it with the uh, new pump and the, the pumps are the same. So I just wanted to say that the 2.8 liter turbocharged engine has the same pump as the 3 liter and the 3.6 liter engine. That's not the issue at all. If you want to change one out yourself, you can go get the 3 liter or the 3.6, the same pump. Uh, what is different, and this is where things get uh, interesting, is that the pulley on this uh, 2.8 liter pump doesn't have a groove to accept these traditional style uh, extractors so you would put that over like that over the shaft this would go inside this could all go inside like this and then that would go over the little groove on the uh, on the pump anyway you get the picture if you've used one you use one but here's where the problem is this pump doesn't have a groove for it also what you'll run into this pump is set <clears throat> the pulley is set deeper down on the shaft. And if you look at the back side, if you can barely see it, there are no, like there's not a, a step or anything in that shaft. So this, this has to be measured. You can measure the, the snub, or you can measure from the, bo the body, like from one of the mounting holes, like down there, because that's where the, it would mount back on the vehicle, so that would be accurate. And so you're gonna have to measure the distance this pulley is on the shaft, record it somewhere, and when you reinstall it, you're gonna to have to make sure it's in the right spot. All right, we're set up. Give it a whirl. I've got my two jaw puller on. Uh, after that, I guess, if I can't get it with the two jaw puller, I'll weld a, a bead around that collar, and then I can use the traditional thing. So if you have a welder, maybe that's an option for you too. But if you have a welder, you probably have one of these jaw pullers. So let's try it. All right. Trying to get it so you guys can see. Something fell. No, it's gone. Looks like it's coming. 
I'm going to put a pair of glo a glove on in case she gets away on me. All right. Wow, that's on tight. But there it is, off. Holy smokes. Now, like I said, there's no seat or anything on these, so you gotta make sure you've measured that depth. And then the, remember also this, that this collar faces upward, like that. Don't put it on like that, or you'll be taking it back off again. All right, I'm all set up. Let's see if we can get this on. All right, she's most of the way down, so I'll keep going. Yeah, she's almost all the way down. Now I gotta kind of find a way to put it down all the way. So, I don't think that, I'll use a, maybe a, a bigger socket. Now let's see if we can get this apparatus back together. Hmm, here's the problem. All right. I'm going to try this. I don't know how well it's going to work, but. All right, let's see, let's see where we're at. No more yet. So I've got my micrometer and I've got my measurement. So now I feel I'm getting close. So I'm gonna pull this all off and have a look. Oh, not yet. She's not there yet, she's just flush. So that's gotta go down. So that'll have to go down till that, gotta go down a ways yet for it to be proper. All right, let's continue on. See what we got here. If that made a difference. There she's going. Not quite enough yet, I don't think. Oh no. It's gonna go down a little bit more, probably another turn at least on the on my apparatus here. Let's try that. There we go. I think that's pretty darn close. This is where you want to be careful. You don't want this to be running off. There. Because it'll wear the side of your belt that has to stay in line. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we're good. So that's the difference between a 2.8 liter engine and the three liter and the 3.6 liter. The three liter and 3.6 are the same. The 2.8 has this different pulley without that uh, puller groove in there. So this is how I did it. If you can think of a better way, that's great. I even thought, like I said, uh, welding a bead around there and using the traditional puller, whatever, whatever works for you. But anyway, I have it on there now, so I'm gonna reinstall it on the car. Uh, I don't think there's anything different than was taking it out. 
Well, there she is. Wow, that upper bolt, yeah, it's a struggle. I'm not gonna lie. My wife actually left the garage because the air was getting a little blue in here. Um, it, it's one of those ones where it's just so awkward to get at. But I did do the, the job. Uh, it slipped in nicely from the front side. You just have to make sure that that suction pipe is in the upward position before you put it in or you'll be bringing it back out and turning it and ask me how I know that. But anyhow, just a tip. Uh, so I did put a little vacuum on the system, uh, but mostly I just started the engine and turned it back and forth. Uh, and about, you know, a half a dozen or so turns from one side to the other, it got rid of the noise. Um, there's still air in the, in the oil, of course, but uh, that'll come in time. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, got another job done. Wife's happy once she gets back out here when the air clears a bit. <laughs> so uh, thanks everyone for watching. Like and subscribe. I hope this helps someone out, gets them out of a pinch. We'll see you in the next one.